shot. Well, it really is heating up now that we've stopped the vehicle. Bye bye, what is? It looks like it's going to be a typical hot and humid summer day here in the low fault. It's been quite nice and cool up until now, though. Lucky over the last few days with some much cooler weather. I think this afternoon we are going to be melting unless we get some clouds coming in, but it's looking like clear skies all around. That, of course, can change. The typical summer here is really wonderful with the amount of cloud formations and thunderstorms and the speed at which they can build up. We'll have to wait for next summer, hopefully, for that when there's no drought and full swing. Hello, Bud in Canada. You would like to know if it would be possible to get a visual tour, tour, sorry, not Canada, Carolina, of our camp that we stay in and the final control room. But what I'll do is I'll do a video as soon as we get back now and I'll post it on my Scott Dyson Safaris Facebook page and I'll take you on a tour of the camp and exactly what's going on. You'll even maybe get to meet Salty Frank, our chef. He should be baking some muffins this morning. Um, it's our muffin day, muffins and fruits. Anyway, you'll see. And in the next few minutes, check out my page. It may take a while to upload because we've got very slow internet out here. Um, anyway, I'll do that for you now. The final advanced age and wisdom. Well, I think we're the same thing, but yes, probably. <laughs> okay, James. Well, we're going to leave you be. Don't text yet. They were going towards Shabam, close to the end of Treehouse, and then we just... Right, we're yeah. going to send you to sit next to Nikki there. Here we move up. <laughs> That's it. Okay. All right. Don't join her, and we'll see you shortly. Bye-bye. into the other crew. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. James and I have been through default crossing one another's paths quite often recently. I am secretly just following his moves, hoping that I'm going to be able to feed off his sightings like a remora feeds off the food that a shark feeds on. I'm remoraing. Remoraring James. for breakfast, so I'm getting hungry. Sure, well, Shelly in Florida, you are inquiring about six toad cats. six-toed cats. I've only heard of the four-toed cats that we see. They do have a dew claw, which would have been essentially a thumb, but it's become a vestigial limb, so it doesn't really do anything. Um, so that would be the fifth toe, I guess, but we don't see that in their tracks up there. Are any cats with six toes out there? I would suggest probably getting it amputated. This is not normal. Only kidding. That's just that I, you know, I don't know anything about six-toed cats. If anybody can furnish us with anything that they do know about these cats, unless they have, of course, deformities, that would be great.
around any of their nests, that they have, they have private security systems around, being wasp nests, so the bird will build its nest just above the highly aggressive vespid wasps nest, and the knowledge that those wasps will sting and attack any animals that are trying to raid the nest, and sadly, no, I have not seen any of these nests this season, but the birds, no, they are not migratory, they are here, we do see them, but they're very small, and small birds are difficult for us to show you, so you just have to wait for the opportune moments to try and get those on camera. It wasn't, I think it was yesterday or the day before that we didn't see a couple. Um, so they are here, it's just we've been unfortunate finding their nests.